How's it going guys? Chips here with you again, back with another Ark Let's Build video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build this egg hatchery that you see in front of you now. And for those of you who are new to the channel, this is going to be a step-by-step -step walkthrough video with some real easy to follow along instructions showing you how you can get this build on your Ark. And make sure to check out the description below for a list of building materials as well as the map cords where I built this. And guys, all of the painting and the decorations on this build was done by another YouTuber whose name is You Were A Monkey. So I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description below. Make sure you guys go check out her channel and show her some love. But anyways, guys, with all of that said, I just want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out the video. And let's go ahead and let's get to building. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is lay down our foundation. So the, how we're going to do this is we're going to start off by placing two regular stone foundations. Then on the corner here, we're going to place a stone triangle foundation. We'll add two more regular stone right here, and we're just going to continue this pattern around until we reach our start point. All right, so now that we have this ring complete, we're just going to go ahead and fill in the middle with stone triangle foundations. And this will make up the foundation for our build. So you can just go ahead and switch all of your normal foundations to block. Next, we're gonna come into one of our sides that has our two regular foundations and we're gonna get out wooden fence foundations. Now we're gonna place one here on the inline on this snap point right here. Then we're also gonna place one here on the edge as well. Then we're gonna get out a stone dinosaur gate frame and we're gonna place it facing like this on the inline. And then on the outline, we're going to place it facing like this. So we want something that looks like this, kind of a frame going around our foundation. Now go ahead around and do this on every side that has the two regular foundations. So now we're going to choose one of these sets of gate frames as our entrance and we're going to go ahead and build an archway around it. So first we're going to come inside of it and on the side right here we're going to get out a stone wall and place it on this snap point right here. Go ahead and add three more on top of that. Then go ahead to this other side right here and do the same thing. Place four stone walls right here. Then we're going to come to the top of our third stone wall and place a stone ceiling right like this and go ahead and add another one to the side of that. Then go ahead and place a stone wall on each one of these on each side. Then just go ahead and fill in the top with two more stone ceilings. Next, we're gonna come underneath of our archway and get out a stone stair, but we're gonna go ahead and rotate the snap point so that we get it placing like this. Go ahead and add another one right here as well. Then on each one of these, we're going to place a stone railing to fill in our gap and go ahead and do this on the other side as well. And then lastly, we're just going to go to the outside here and fill in our outside gate frame with a reinforced dinosaur gate. Now on this next set of gate frames, we're again going to go inside of them. And again on the side here, we're going to add four high stone walls facing like this. And we'll do that again on this side as well. Now for this one on the front, we're just going to build this up with four high stone walls on both of these foundations. So go ahead and take these four high. And then we'll go to the top and we're just going to fill this in with a stone ceiling on each one. So now that we have that, we're going to go around to the remainder of our double gate frames and we're going to do the same thing on all of the remaining double gate frames.
All right, so now on the inside here, we're gonna go ahead and add our generator and our air conditioners. So first in this spot, which is straight across from our gate, we're gonna go ahead and place our generator down right here. Now we wanna place it like this, kind of dead in the middle, facing in this direction. So go ahead and place that right there. Then we'll add a vertical electrical cable coming up out of that. And then we're gonna go ahead and start using the flexible cable. So we're gonna first start off by sending one into this wall right here. We'll go ahead on the other side of the wall and pull it through on this side. Then we're gonna go ahead and take one more kind of right here to the middle of these two foundations. And then you can go ahead and get out another vertical cable and just place it kind of in the middle of these two foundations. It doesn't have to be perfect. We can then go ahead and add an electrical outlet on top of that and then connect this with one more flexible cable. And there you'll see we have our circuit getting us over here. So go ahead and get out a air conditioner and we're just gonna place that down on the floor right here. Now, this line right here is gonna be where our wall is. So we wanna place it a little bit behind that line like this. And then just go ahead and add three more of these in line with that one. Now they don't need to be perfect because this is going to be covered up and nobody is going to see it. All right, so there you go. We have that section filled out. So now we're gonna get another flexible cable out and we're gonna take it over to this wall right here. Then we're gonna go ahead and take another one through the wall. So you might have to come to this side and just get it a little bit through the wall. Then go ahead and add another one to get us to the center again. Again, we're gonna go ahead and add a vertical electrical cable coming out of the ground and place a outlet box on top of it. Then we're just gonna go ahead and once again, connect that with a flexible cable and then add our four air conditioners right here along this front line. So there you go, we now have a complete circuit with air conditioners in those two sections. Now we're gonna go ahead and repeat what we did on this side over here on these two sections as well. All right, so I've gone ahead and thrown some gasoline in our generator and you can see everything is powered on and it is working, so our circuit does work. So we're gonna go ahead now and cover everything up. So what we're gonna do is get out a stone double door frame and we're gonna place one right here and here as well. Now, if it places like this, you can just go ahead and pick it back up. If we can get on the right thing, go ahead and pick that up and just come at it from a different angle and try to place it again and it should work. So there we go. We're gonna go ahead and fill those in with double reinforced doors. And then on top of each of those, we're just going to add three stone walls. So there we go. That covers up our generator nicely. So now we're going to do the same thing in front of all of these air conditioners. Now we're going to go ahead and use the doors just in case you were to want to get in there and get access to these. All right, so now we're gonna do one more thing while we're on the inside here. So we're gonna go ahead to all of our walls. We're gonna get out a wooden catwalk. And first we're gonna place one right here above the doors. We'll add one more on this next wall right here and one more on the top right here. So go around to each wall and do the same thing. Next, we're gonna to go to the wall that is straight across from our entry where we have our generator. And we're just gonna go ahead and get out a feeding trough and place it right here on top of this first catwalk. Now, this is gonna be for anything that you might wanna raise inside of the hatchery. If it's something small that can fit out of the gate, we'll have a feeding trough in here for them to eat off of. Now, up top on our ceiling, we're gonna go ahead and fill in these corners with stone triangle ceilings.
Next, we're just gonna go all the way around this top part, adding stone window frames and filling them in with greenhouse windows. Next, we're going to come into the bottom of this corner and place one stone door frame on each corner going around the build. Then we'll go back in and we're going to add a wooden fence foundation right here on the edge of this stone triangle foundation. Then we're going to go ahead and snap a wooden pillar on this side right here. And then on this side, you need to rotate the snap point to make sure you're getting this snap point right here. Go ahead and then add four more wooden pillars on top of each of those. So now with that complete on this corner, we're going to go around to the remaining corners and repeat this process. Now we're going to come back into that corner and on top of that stone double door frame we placed, we're going to add a stone railing. Then we're going to add six more stone railings stacked on top of that one to give us seven total. And it'll bring us up right below our greenhouse window. So right here, we're going to stop right there. Now just go around to all of the remaining corners and again, repeat this process. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw up some supports for our roof. So first here on the inside of this ring where we have our stone ceilings, we're gonna go ahead and add two stone double door frames on top of each stone ceiling going around this inside ring. Now we're going to go inside of our build and on one of these inner foundations right here, we're going to place a wooden double door frame just like this. Then we're going to go ahead and add six more on top of that to get us to seven high at the top. So we want to kind of level it out with these ones and then we want to take it one higher than these ones. So it's going to be seven total. Then at the top of this, we're going to go ahead and add a wooden triangle ceiling pointing inward like this, and then just add five more going around from that one until you make it back to our original one. And these are going to be deleted later. They're just support for now. Unfortunately, there's no thatch of these, so we have to use wood. Now we're going to go ahead and start building up the first level of our roof, starting here on the corner. We're going to get out a wooden triangle roof and we're gonna rotate through the snap point until we get this one that points upward and place it. Then we're just gonna go around and do this on all of our other corners as well. Now with those placed, we're gonna come to one of our flat sides and we're going to be placing wooden stairs coming down from these stone double door frames. So place one on each. Then we're gonna add a thatch ceiling right here above the stair. And this is going to allow us to place a wooden sloped roof underneath of the stair like so on both of these. Then you can go ahead and pick up or destroy your thatch and everything will stay in place and it'll give us this cool kind of shingled look onto our roof. So go ahead around and do the same technique 
on all of our flat sides. Now we're gonna go ahead and finish our roof. So first right here, we're gonna go ahead and get out a wooden triangle roof and rotate the snap point until we have it pointing upward like this. Add another one right here and then one coming down right here to give us that. And then just go around and add these on the other five sides as well. With that done, we're then gonna go to our topmost part and place a greenhouse wall on top of each of these triangle wooden ceilings. So we're gonna place one on each of these going all the way around this topmost part. Then once we get these placed, we're gonna go ahead and get out a triangle greenhouse roof. And we're gonna go ahead and again, rotate the snap point upward and place these on top of each of these walls. Now the last thing we need to do here on the outside is build a staircase to get into our entrance. So we're just gonna go in here and place a stone stair in front of each of these foundations. Then we'll add a wooden railing on the side here and add a stone railing underneath to fill in the side and go ahead and do the same thing over here. So now we need to do a few more things on the inside. So first we're gonna go ahead and destroy the support system that we made. Now, if you're not in creative mode, you may need to use ladders and like thatch ceilings to kind of create scaffolding to help you do this. But first we'll destroy this wood double door frame here on the ground. Then we're gonna go up to this topmost one up here at our ceiling and destroy this one as well. And then we're gonna destroy these wooden triangle ceilings here in the center beneath our greenhouse. So go ahead and destroy all of these and you'll see everything will remain because we now have a supported system where all of our roofs are supporting each other and we'll have this nice roof up on the very top. Next, we're gonna head to our second floor here and get out thatch ceilings and we're gonna place them right here in front of these stone ceilings like this. Then we're gonna get out wood railings and we're gonna be placing them on the thatch ceilings. So first you need to rotate your snap point so that you're getting this snap point right here. Then you can go ahead and flip that snap point so that it's giving you this snap point right here and place it down. Go ahead and add another one right here on this thatch ceiling. So rotate and then flip the snap point. Then go ahead and pick up your thatch and you'll see the railings will remain. So we're gonna go ahead and do this all the way around this second floor. So again, place your thatch ceilings, get out your railing and rotate it, then flip it and do the same thing right here. So just go ahead and do this on all of these spots. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for the building portion of this video. Now, for the paint scheme and the decorations, like I said at the top, that has been done by another YouTuber whose name is You Were a Monkey. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick what she's come up with. All right, guys, so like I said, You Were a Monkey has come in and thrown up an awesome paint scheme on this build. She's added some really cool, unique decorations. So, we're going to kind of real quickly show you guys what she's done, but I don't want to spoil it too much because she does have a video showing this off. So, make sure, guys, I'm going to leave a comment pinned down below with the link to her video. Make sure you guys go check out that video and show her some love for her awesome work on our build today.
So one thing I do want to explain a little bit more in depth is this inside paint scheme. So You Are a Monkey threw us together this kind of girly theme using different shades of pink, purple, and yellow. And the reason she did this is because she was nice enough to do this for me because me and my wife actually found out this week that early next year we're going to be having a little baby girl. So she kind of threw together this girly theme to help us celebrate that. And then also I've got some eggs out in here to show you guys that it does in fact work. Our 12 air conditioners are incubating these eggs and it'll work with any type of egg that you put inside of this hatchery. All right guys, so that is gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the build. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was easy for you to follow along and get this build on your arc. Guys, if you did enjoy the build in the video and you haven't already, do me a favor and hit that like button. Those help my videos get out there, which obviously helps the channel grow. Go ahead and leave me some feedback in the comments below on what you think. And of course, guys, if you're new to the channel, go check out some other builds. And if you like what you see, subscribe for future ARC Let's Build videos. And guys, if you did end up using this build, check out the description below for links to my social media and feel free to hit me up on one of those platforms with pictures of this build in your ARC. But anyways, guys, I just once again want to tell you thank you so much for being here today, checking out this video, and have a great day.